everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Today we are at the main farm with your friendly local neighborhood agronomist, Andrew Tucker. I'm so, back. yeah, Andrew, what are we doing today? Oh, uh, I brought out the Agris T30 sprayer drone today. Uh, I've been running this pretty much nonstop the past three weeks. Uh, I looked into getting uh, into the sprayer drones last year. Uh, last year was kind of the first year they became a uh, practical tool on the farm. And uh, Ryan, we, we worked with the T20 a little bit, uh, getting some cover crops on a field. Um, at that point, I, I didn't know where the sprayer drones would take us. I thought it'd be a great tool for doing some research and some plots. Uh, turned into being a great tool to get a lot of spraying done. Uh, we've, uh, we run four uh, airplanes out of our area with Nutrien, uh, the 802 air tractor. We cover a lot of acres with fungicide with those airplanes, but unfortunately there's areas that the airplanes just can't practically spray. And so I looked into these drones as being able to get some of those acres covered that the airplanes couldn't do. And it's been a phenomenal tool for doing that. Uh, we've been spraying uh, closer to residential areas where we don't want to have the planes buzzing over houses and uh, had a lot of really good compliments. People really appreciate us being able to use this tool. And uh, it's also been a very useful tool for uh, just uh, uh, small jobs uh, that we've had to do. If we've got some weed pressure, some volunteer corn, uh, that we want to go out and just take care of spots and fields. It's been an awesome tool for that. So uh, we're here today, we've got some strips. Uh, the beans uh, on the farms here have already had fungicide. In the past, we've actually taken the airplane and flown the whole farm over both the corn and the bean strips. Uh, this allows us to run a ground rig over the bean strips and then run the sprayer drone over the corn strips and uh, get a little better timing with the fungicide application. We found that fungicide application is all about timing and, and product and the environment. So uh, to have the most success with the product, you wanna have all those uh, in line and, and it, this drone allows us to do that. So I'm, I'm really excited. We've had a lot of success with this. Um, I've got uh, several growers that have purchased these. So we became a dealer in, in April uh, for these sprayer drones so that we could help our customers have their own equipment to be able to do uh, some aerial applications and so that's been a huge success uh, there's been several thousand acres flown by farmers with this equipment in this area um, as well as a custom uh, a few custom outfits and we've also done some custom work ourselves with them so it's 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 been exciting they're fun to fly uh, they do a really good job and i'm excited to see what the results are come harvest cool so what are we spraying today uh, so i just came from uh, one of your other fields and uh, that field uh, we have actually four products on it and I'm doing a comparison. So it was a 24 acre field. I split it up into four five acre sections with untreated checks in between. Um, so we're comparing Veltima, Revitec, Delaro, and Miravis Neal are the four main fungicide products in this area. Uh, they all have slightly different active ingredients and different modes of action. So uh, it'll be really interesting to see the performance of all those in comparison on, on the same field, uh, one hybrid out there. Uh, today on the fields at uh, on this farm, we're going to be spraying Miravis Neo. Uh, pretty much everything that I've been flying, uh, we've been putting Radiate Next in. Uh, Radiate Next is a, a plant growth regulator um, that the key ingredient is uh, endobutaic acid, which actually is a naturally occurring hormone in the plant. It keeps root hairs on the roots longer and helps with uh, water and nutrient movement throughout the plant. Yep. Um, We've had Radiate for quite a while. It's been a very successful product uh, for our growers. The Radiate Next also has an above ground attribute in it, which helps with plant stress. Okay. Um, last year's study showed six to 12 bushel um, advantage on corn. So uh, pretty much everything uh, through the drone has had Radiate Next in it. And quite a few of our uh, aerial uh, acres through the airplane has been running that product. So, um, you know, I, it's, as, uh, as we've learned more about the science of plants and plant health and how plants grow, um, we've learned that it's not all about just your standard uh, nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. It's, it's about um, the uptake of those nutrients and, and using some of the biologicals and some naturally occurring elements out there, feeding those to the plant at the right time uh, to help us be the most efficient and economical uh, with growing our crops. So exciting there. Um, so Radiate Next is in this tank with the Miravis Theo and of course water. Okay, awesome. Well, do you guys wanna see this thing fly? Me too, let's get started. First field's gonna be the one in the corner over here. Okay. We're gonna to have to fly up uh, over the tree um, and we'll probably, best view is probably gonna be uh, in front of the house. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and select the field. 
So it's loading the fields that I have in the memory there. This is all off of your planning maps. So the closest field's already selected right there. That's the one we want to use. Okay. So I can edit that to make sure my lines are set the way I want to. I want to actually fly this at 28 feet. This is capable of spraying up to a 32 foot width. Okay. Uh, but 28 is what I want to be at today. I'm going to hit save there, overwrite the original field. We're going to use that. And we're going to spray at 1.3 gallon per acre. 23 feet per second. We're going to be flying at 13 feet over the crop. This is terrifying. How many acres can we do at a crack? Uh, it's, it'll do six to a load. Six to a load? Yep. I feel like that's pretty good. It is. And it all depends on field shape and size. A lot of times I can get uh, 30, 35 acres an hour done. Uh, but that's an ideal situation, a half mile long pass, uh, down and back twice, and then I'm out. So okay. as field uh, shapes and sizes vary, you could be a little bit less efficient. They overall, I'm running uh, with the one drone about 22 acres per hour. Uh, when I run two drones, it gets closer to that 35. Nice. So he's got the generator running, charging his batteries. How many batteries do you have? Three. This is franchise. Franchise? Yep. This is used with aerial application to help make sure that the spray droplets go to the intended target. Okay. Uh, gets them down inside the canopy. Where are you going next? The lower strip. Across the road? Yep. Okay. So that's a three and a half acre field.
Andrew's all done spraying now. It would seem that drone technology is here to stay for the long term. So anyway, with that, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And uh, if you have questions, leave them down in the comments section. I'll try to answer them. I know that Andrew will probably try answering as many as he can. And uh, yeah, we'll try to, to do our best to answer your guys' questions about the technology in this field. So uh, with that, I'll see you next time.